Okay, so here we're going to just have a quick look at how we work with a multicam edit. And basically, what I want to do is have a look at how we can create a multicam edit and then separate out those clips with things like color correction um, and that type of thing later on. So basically, um, I'm creating a short video, two clips, and we're going to jump between those in the multicam. And then once we've created the multicam edit, we're going to break that multicam edit apart so that we can then. Uh, go back to our original clips to do color correction. So let's dive in first of all and make our multicam clip. So we've got our two clips up here in our library, um, and in order to make a multicam, and in order to make a multicam clip with two or more clips, we need to select them both. So I've selected one of my clips, and I'm going to hold down Command and select the next clip, and that will select both of those clips. So now once I've done that, um, I can come up to File new and create a multicam clip and for those that have worked with multicam clips you'll know how they link together we can drop them to the timeline and then edit with them we'll just give a, a short demonstration of how to do that for those that haven't worked with multicam clips before so we'll create a new multicam clip and we'll call this multicam demo and we're going to use the audio for synchronization so there's an audio track from each of the different cameras and Final Cut Pro is going to use those audio tracks to link things together. And if you've got audio tracks on both your videos, that's definitely the easiest way to, to link things together. So we'll click OK here. And what will happen now is we'll see this new clip will pop up in our library. And this is the multicam clip. So once I've got that selected, if I go to my view options up here in the middle, I can show my angles. And that's going to show me the different angles used in that multicam clip. So if I hover over my multicam clip, I'll see the two angles that I've got here, and if you have more than two, you'll see uh, more than two different angles. So the audio on my iMac, the bottom clip here, has a better audio track on it. Basically, what I want to do after that is leave the audio locked onto this one track so we don't get a change in the audio volumes as we're editing our multi-clip. So we can change the editing option so it's just enabling the video-only editing here. So once that's done, um, if we now drop our multicam clip onto the timeline. We'll zoom in a little bit and we can begin to, to make some edits. So I can trim this from the beginning to start with and now as I play through my clip you can see on the timeline it's selected and I'm just editing the video option so this middle video only switching. So now when I'm looking towards the camera I'll use this top clip so actually I'll just come back here and switch the video to the top clip to start with and then you can see part way through I switch my eyes to the computer screen and it's at that point that we'll switch the multicam edit back and then after a couple more sentences I switch back down to looking at the iPhone and we'll switch back to here and now a few more sentences and we'll switch back up to the computer and those cuts as we're playing this through in the multicam edit are happening and basically we can now switch between the different camera clips quickly or slowly and it will create cuts wherever we're switching between those two clips. If we've made a mistake and we want to swap a clip out we can come to the beginning of one of these clips when we've got our video paused and we can swap those clips. So just make sure you come to the beginning of a clip and swap a clip. Um, we can also right click here and change the active video angle to a different angle as well if we prefer to select from a list or maybe we've got a large number of clips there and we want to select the video angle separately. So basically now in this clip you can see in my multicam demo um, the color of this iMac clip is really a lot darker than the iPhone clip so the color adjustment or the automatic color adjustment on the iMac is not as good so this is where we need to focus our color correction on and in order to break this apart and to edit all those clips in one go we just need to go back to the original multicam edit and if we double click on that original multicam edit we can see here now we've got those two original clips there and it's in here that we'll do the color correction so if we activate the bottom clip here now you can see I'm looking and focusing on that bottom clip and now I can bring up my video scope. So I'm going to hide my angles and bring up my video scope so that I can see the color correction that I want to do. And if I hover over this clip, you can see that it's a lot brighter. The background is really 
very white and in this clip the background is quite grey and a lot lighter and a lot of the colour information in this clip is down in the bottom here so we need to raise that up. So I'm going to come up to my inspector on the top right and we'll jump into the colour correction options and the first thing I can do is raise up uh, my colours here so my whites are almost bleached out in the background and then we can pull the shadows back down we still want some contrast in there but what you'll notice in this clip as well is the mid-tones are quite vibrant quite bright as well so we we'll want to lift up those mid-tones so we get some of that detail in the shirt showing and then we can pull the whites up as well and modify and moderate our adjustments um, until we're happy with how that color is falling um, throughout this image so we've got a very nice white background we've got still some areas of shadow here and now if you look at it we've got just a quite a big color difference between the iMac image and the iPhone image so what we're looking at here when we've brought up the video scopes um, is the waveform at the moment uh, but when we're modifying color we want to bring up the vector scope instead so come to this little button in the middle come to the vector scope and then once we're in here, we can begin to modify the color. So what I'm doing as I'm doing this is just having a peek at where the color is in my image that I'm correcting to and where the color is in this image. So you can see we've got a lot less red in the shirt um, here and we've got some greens um, popping out um, to the, the left hand side here. So when we're on this clip, you can see there's some green and yellow popping out which we don't really have so to remove that red and those greens we can uh, begin to come down and start to modify um, either the the main color tool or start to modify the shadow so you can see a bit of green and red in the shadow so we might uh, pull that down a bit and then we might need to moderate this a little bit in accordance with that so We'll just do subtle adjustments here and we're trying to match up the angle of some of these areas with the angles that we have here so where the reds are shooting off and the skin tone is there as well. So we'll just keep modifying this and we can gradually kind of neutralize these colors a little bit. We can also use the saturation to do this as well. So in this image you can see the, the browns and uh, the colors. There's, there's not that much saturation um, in the center of this image here. So if I activate this one you can see we've got a lot of white um, and then some colors shooting off to the red which will be the face and the t-shirt and then some cyan and blue which would be the shadows um, in this shirt. So we can start to read that vector scope as we look between the two images and start to make some adjustments. So maybe we want a little less color um, in our midtones and our shadows, and that will neutralize that um, a little bit. And then we can modify the amount of color in different parts of the image. So we're just trying to make some minor adjustments throughout the image to get somewhere close in this brief demo to the image that we're using as our reference. So we'll just keep playing around with these until we find something that's reasonably close and we're getting somewhere close um, to similar colors there as we're moving around these uh, color adjustments and for the moment for this brief example that will do. Now what we'll see now that we've made those color adjustments if we go back to our edited clip and um, the color adjustments will flow through um, to that edited clip. So essentially, as we've made those adjustments in the original multicam clip, the edit that we've made from that multicam clip has is still drawing um, from the original now color corrected videos. So the workflow for creating a multicam and then modifying the color is really to use the multicam, the original multicam clip as your kind of main source. So if you do any color correction um, for different clips from different angles, then do that in the multicam clip and then those color corrections will flow through to your edit. Um, and you can uh, see here that those color corrections have flowed through to all my clips um, on the timeline.
And we can also add other effects um, into our multicam clip as well. So if we, for instance, thought there was a bit too much uh, noise um, in this image, then we could come into our video effects here and we'll search for noise and we'll add the noise reduction filter here. So now once that's analyzed, um, those changes will flow through to our edited clip. So now when we play this through, um, eventually once the analysis has happened, which is gonna take a few moments, um, then it will flow through to our edited clip. So you can see we're not quite at exactly the right spot for the color correction, but we're not too far off compared to where we were if we come back and turn off the color correction and go back to our clip. So this was the original uncorrected clip. And then if we come back into our multicam clip and turn our color correction back on, this is now, if we jump between these two, the color corrected version. So we're getting somewhere close to the color correction that we want between these two clips. So using the vector scope and the waveform as a reference as you're modifying your color and your contrast and where the brightness is in different parts of the image is really critical when you're doing any kind of color correction. So I hope that's been useful if you're working with multicam clips and you're wanting to add color correction to your clips. Um, and if you have any questions about Final Cut Pro on this or any other topics, then please do leave a message below um, or I'll see you on the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.